Hi world, 8 o'clock in the morning, 10th of September 2014. It's, a, it's been a busy couple of days astrologically. We've got not only the full moon yesterday and the day before, that full moon in Pisces, done now. The water's moved on. We've got this uh, Venus-Neptune opposition. It's been around for two or three days. It's going to be around for another 24, 36 hours. Venus in Virgo. Traditionally, not the best place for Venus because of Virgo's more desire for effectiveness, efficiency, um, focus and detail. And Venus's capacity for easygoing, flowing, leisureliness, willing to go with the flow. And they don't really get on, which is why Venus in Virgo people often spend times, quite considerable times of their life alone, because if they can't have the best, they'll quite happily go without. Problem is with Venus opposite Neptune at the moment, there's going to be this thing around selectivity and choosiness. And anyone who's being hit by Neptune, i.e. anyone who's born sort of nearly a week into Pisces, Virgo, Gemini or Sagittarius, then this last two or three days and today and tomorrow could be a time of minor frustration when you realise that it's, nothing's going to quite work out the way you want and nothing's going to be quite right. Remember, please, you're not being asked to succeed. You are being asked to do your best. And the only person who can say what your best is, is you. You are judge, jury and executioner. At the same time, we've got Mercury opposite Uranus and square Pluto. Well, yesterday with Mercury square Pluto was quite a feisty day. There was a lot of people sticking up for themselves in more uh, assertive ways than normal. I myself was quite volatile because it was hitting my son. Today with Mercury opposite Uranus and for the next two or three days, there's still the capacity for sudden uh, exchanges of communication that bear quite considerable difference to normal. Excellent time for breaking the mould, throwing it away, reinventing oneself, beginning again. Excellent time for taking a chance, not risk. Yesterday would have been risk. Today's chance and projecting that chance into the future. Add to this that today and tomorrow, the sun is strongly sextiling Saturn. So it's a kind of semi-guarantee that says that with the Sun sextile Saturn, these oppositions from Venus and Mercury can go ahead without pushing the button too much, without pushing the envelope. Mars is nice and static, thank you very much, at the end of Scorpio, looking at Sagittarius with a very keen eye now, and indeed he will be there in four or five days. Seems like he's only just left Libra, and now he's moving into Sag, and of course, Saturn, well, Saturn's moving forward. Now, Saturn's about to enter, move out of its retrograde window. That's another couple of months yet. But there's going to be some big developments in British constitutional circles, not just political. Having had a chance to have a good look at all the different uh, horoscopes of various leaders and royal family, I'll come up with some pretty startling conclusions about what's likely to happen in the next couple of months. So I'll be doing a set of videos next week on various political leaders and royal members of the family. And today, tomorrow, the next day, is the last time for the next six weeks that you're going to get the opportunity to um, get things done in a clean, clear, singular, unique way. As of about three days' time, mm, the Mercury shadow of the next Mercury retrograde begins. And the next Mercury retrograde will cover both of the eclipses that are looming on the horizon. So, so today, with Mercury opposite Uranus and, and Mercury getting ready to enter Mercury shadow, shadow, but with a lovely Sun sextile Saturn today, there does seem the capacity to take calculated chances in a way that's actually quite beneficial. So you've got nothing to lose by getting out there and making things happen. The astrology weather today is good. The moon is in early Aries. 12 hours time, 15 hours time, 24 hours time. Moon opposite Mercury, moon square Pluto. Moon conjunct Uranus and a rehearsal for next month. It's going to be an interesting 24 hours. It's going to be eventful and it's going to be active. But it need not be challenging. 
and the, the brave and the intuitive amongst you out there are likely to see one or two sort of um, um, random waves of change, jokers coming through, and nothing to lose by taking them. Have a experien experiential and experimental day. Catch you later. Bye.